Hello beautiful people of the world, welcome back to my channel. My name is Claire Summer. I've got a great pick a card reading for you today and today we're looking at why are they acting this way? Why are they behaving like this? So we're just gonna see what messages we get from spirit regarding your person and their behavior. So I'm really looking forward to doing this reading for you. I will just let you know, um, I wanna put out a quick trigger warning for this reading. So please bear in mind if you've not been to the channel before that my readings contain both light and shade so uh, please bear that in mind before you go ahead with making your selection okay I've got three groups for you today so make your selection based on um, your intuition use your intuition to tune in or your gut instinct as to which of these three groups will resonate with you the most in your situation so yeah make your selection while you do that i will just let you know that my beautiful book attract soulmate love is now available through my website you can find the details of that in the description box below this video so do check that out if it resonates with you but yeah i'm looking forward to doing this reading make your selection and I will see you in a moment. Hey everybody, how you're doing? This is the reading for everyone who picked a group number one. Welcome to your reading. Just a quick shout out to my amazing Lumis, my subscribers. Thank you for being part of this community. And also I'm sending a big hug to everyone who has donated through the Energetic Exchange. It, I'm just uh, really touched, so thank you very much. All right, I'm gonna move this down so that you can see what I can see. We'll take a look at the cards now for you and uh, see what energies there are and why your person is acting this way, why they're being weird, what's going on with them. So we've got the tower in reverse. We've got two of pentacles, chariot in reverse, seven of cups in reverse, three of wands, knight of swords, <clears throat> six of wands, Four of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. This is interesting. And then we have the Oracle card's Conclusion and the beautiful card Emergence from the Universal Love Oracle deck. All my decks are linked in the description box. All right, so I see Cancer's energy represented here very strongly, as well as Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Um, so that may resonate with you, but if it doesn't, don't worry about it too much. All right, I'll move you back up so I can see you. And right, what I'm seeing here is a lot of stagnation. I feel like there's a lot of frustration. I feel like there's a lot of stagnation here, like things have really ground to a halt, things have slowed down. Um, you not. You feel like you're not making any progress with this person, you're trying to communicate with them, you're not making any progress, you're not getting any answers, um, you want things to move forward, and they have just stalled, is what I'm seeing here. So. We have this tower, I feel like maybe in the reverse, I feel like maybe you've been through a difficult time or your person has been through a difficult time and this may be why they're behaving um, a little bit strangely. Maybe you've been through some challenges together with one another, this is definitely indicated here or your person is going through a challenging time because I see, um, let me bring the cards up so I can show you. So with the two of pentacles in the reverse and the chariot in the reverse, I'm seeing like some stress here. So maybe your person is going through a stressful time in their life maybe they've got a lot of responsibilities maybe they've got a lot on their plate and this is putting pressure on the relationship so there are outside influences uh, maybe to do with work or family or finances which are putting pressure onto this connection or onto your person so that i feel like The, there's this sensation that they want to be free this is like too much pressure bearing down on them they don't know what to do about it and they just want to be free and it may be that the reason why they're acting a little bit strangely is because they're like well this connection is just one more thing that i have to think about or somebody else that i need to consider and they haven't got the bandwidth for it at the moment it's just like their mind is full, their life is full, their energy is full, and they haven't got the bandwidth to be able to do what it takes to take this to the next level or to make it work or to get over these challenges. So this is causing quite a major, I'm seeing it as quite a major block for them, which I think is quite interesting. So I feel like there's, with this two of pentacles in the reverse, there's definitely a lack of priorities. 
with your person so maybe they've got all those responsibilities maybe they've got a lot going on in their lives but they're not you know calling on any skills or making any decisions at all as to what it is that is going to sort this out what it is that's going to make things better what it is that's going to shift the energy in the situation so they're not making any decisions about what it is that they want or to change in any way so i feel like they're not making you a priority right now so maybe their priority is somebody else maybe their priority is their family or their work but i definitely see with this two of pentacles in the reverse and the tower in the reverse that with all the stuff that's going on in their life they're not making you a priority and this is maybe why they're behaving in this way that feels a little bit strange or uh, not how you're used to or you're not connecting with them so much because and maybe this is resonating with you that they're just not making you a priority they're not making a decision about where to go next or what to do next or how to make the situation better there's really this energy of especially with this chariot in the reverse so this this is a card <clears throat> excuse me in the upright of overcoming challenges of moving forward of um being able to negotiate between the head and the heart and you know push forward but in the reverse this you know there is this stagnation there is this feeling of things really stopping and I'm just getting this uh, strong image of them just burying their head in the sand so I'm getting this sense of overwhelm this, this might not be something that your person has discussed with you might not something be something that you're aware of so maybe they're just full they haven't got the bandwidth for it their um, emotional capacity is full uh, for whatever has been going on in their lives and they just can't handle it and it's causing them to just shut down a little bit so this is why they're behaving this way this is why you're not getting the answers that you want this is why you're not getting the forward motion that you want things are really kind of stuck right now so um but i see the energy is changing because we've got the seven of cups in the reverse this is good this is someone who you know who had a lot on their plate who has been going through many things um has had lots of options who's been struggling um who doesn't know what they want who is then deciding making a decision about what it is that they want and what it is that's important so this is good i see the energy is changing here so and also just this release of other options this release of some of the stuff that's been going on in their lives maybe some of it will fall away naturally um so that they're sort of settling down into a better period this is what i'm seeing here so i think this is good we've got this three of wands right at the center of your reading this is really somebody in this connection is really waiting patiently maybe you've given them lots of chances maybe you're just waiting and waiting and waiting someone in this connection is waiting for somebody to make a move with this knight of swords because this is the fastest mover in the tarot but it's right next to this it's like this i'm hearing it's a waiting game so maybe you're giving them lots of chances maybe you're waiting for them to you know get their act together and sort things out maybe they'll you're waiting for them to come towards you with something real or with that next step maybe you're waiting for them to overcome the stagnation but i would say do not put your life on hold if this is the case, if this is resonating with you, if it's you that's waiting, for some of you, it's going to be you that's waiting. If this is the case, I just, I ask you very gently to reflect and just think, have I waited long enough for this person to get their shit together? Yeah? Just have a think about that. It doesn't mean that you need to walk away from them or any of this. It just means that you need to take some of your energy off of this situation, which is a little bit of a mess and put it back onto yourself where it belongs so what can you do for you towards your own goals and dreams at this time what are your goals and dreams what can you do for you and you take a little bit of the energy off of them and you know because their life is their business take it off of them put it back onto yourself and you know look about how you can make create your dream life because that makes you magnetic to all good things. So if you have been waiting for a long time, if it's been a short-term thing, then maybe you might wanna wait a bit longer. But if you reflect and you just think, gosh, yes, 
I've been waiting for this to be resolved for a long, long time. Just take a little bit of that energy off of this situation that's going on in your life and put it back onto you and then just see how things unfold. It may also be that your person is waiting for you to sort their life out for them or to sort out this situation or to tell them what the answer is. I think that may resonate with some of you. I'm definitely getting that for some of you in this group. Your person is really waiting for you to make a move. Doesn't mean that you should make the move. Because um, maybe it's not your job to sort out this situation. So maybe they're waiting for you to make the move. And to decide for them. Because then they don't have any of the responsibility. It's like, what I'm seeing here is that they don't want to take any of the responsibilities for this. So that if you make the move, if you sort it all out for them, then if it doesn't work out or things don't work out as you want, then they can blame you. They can say, oh, um, they can just um, take a step back and just be like, you know, if you had a patch that was a little bit rocky or is a little bit difficult, then they can be like, oh, this isn't anything to do with me. This is what you wanted. This is what you wanted to do. And, you know, it doesn't make them a bad person. It's just, you know, sometimes people feel like that sometimes. I'm just getting a little sense of that. Of maybe they're just like, oh, well, if they do it, then I don't have to take responsibility for this. I don't have to sort it out. Um, so it's like they're not quite in the driving seat of their life. They're just like, oh, I'll let somebody else sort out my problems. I'll let somebody else tell me what to do in this situation. So they may be waiting for you to make a move. But, and that maybe that's a positive thing. Maybe you do need to take a step closer to them. Maybe you do need to come a little bit closer to them. Doesn't mean you need to be really bold. Maybe you just need to, if things have been difficult and challenging and it has pushed you apart a little bit, maybe you do need to take a step towards them rather than just waiting and hoping that they're gonna sort it out. Maybe you need to put a little bit of energy to come a little bit closer to them. So maybe that resonates with you. So we'll see about that. They're definitely um, getting back into their power in the next few weeks so i see them this is a really positive energy with the six of wands you know this is some success coming in for you which i think is good i think they're definitely enjoying your company i think they definitely enjoy your attention i think they um like it that you like them so you know that that gives them a boost that's giving them a lot of confidence that they've got um uh, that they've got your attention and that they've got you waiting around for them. So just bear that in mind if you see that. But I feel like your person may be acting a little bit strangely or um, not really opening up to you because look, we've got this little guy here with the Four of Pentacles and he is really protecting his heart space. So what I'm seeing is this is somebody who's acting out of fear. So all of this stuff that's going on with your person, you know, maybe they don't want to take responsibility for it, maybe they don't know what they want, and this is why they're behaving so strangely, this is why they're acting this way, is this somebody who is, this is someone with a blocked heart chakra, who's protecting their heart chakra, see how he's holding his little pentacle over his heart, he's like, oh, I'm not going to let you in, because I'm frightened of getting hurt, oh my goodness, I can really feel it so strongly, so this is why your person is behaving like this. This is why maybe they've not really known what they want. This is why they're holding back and things aren't moving forward for you. Deep down, your person is afraid of getting hurt. They're afraid that you will hurt them or that they will get hurt because maybe they've been triggered in the past. Maybe they've been hurt in the past. Maybe they were abandoned as a child and they're just like, if I get rejected or if this doesn't work out, it will be too painful for me to bear. Ten of Swords. Too painful for me to bear. I won't be able to handle it. I won't have the skills. I won't be able to cope with that. So your person is really, you know, this is really clear. They enjoy being with you. They love your company. They feel good around you. Definitely with the six of wands energy, but they are this is so clear Super frightened Of really opening their heart up to somebody maybe they've never opened their heart up to somebody or maybe they've opened their heart in the past and They've been defeated by that They've been knocked down now. This may be somebody who's playing it very cool We often see that with the four of pentacles. This may be somebody who is playing it cool. So maybe you don't know this this is like 
how they feel within. They're scared, that's what I'm hearing. If they're behaving strangely, it's because they're afraid and they're scared. And this is what it all comes down to. So if you're not feeling that flow of love towards you or that flow of affection or that sort of feeling of abundance between you both, it's because their heart chakra is a little bit blocked due to fear. So, however, we have this beautiful card's emergence. Now this is one of the most positive cards in the deck. I see this as super positive. And we have the card conclusion and there is this beautiful key here. So let's talk about this. So there is a key that is gonna unlock all of this. It's gonna unlock their fear, which is gonna unlock this stagnation, which is gonna um, unlock the situation so that you are able to connect like a lock and a key. You can come together be together but there is a key to this situation to overcoming these problems and challenges and I see this coming in because the six of wands is really a card of success and potential so there is good potential here and there is success here for you yeah uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. sorry that was a weird noise um, this is success in overcoming these. This is what Spirit is telling me. There is a solution and they will be successful in overcoming their fears. I see it now. I see it really clearly. They will be successful in overcoming their fears, but that is why they're behaving strangely. That is why they're being weird, but they will be successful. They will be triumphant in overcoming this. Maybe this is something that they have to work through in their own energies. So maybe this patience is what is needed. Maybe this patience is what you need to be able to, uh, they need that little bit of space to work through this so that they can overcome these, these feelings. And this will result in forward motion. Because the way the cards are laid out, this is forward motion towards success, towards a successful connection and towards healing, which I think is really lovely. So I think they're going through a process. This is why they're being a bit weird. It may be that you need to be more patient with them. I know you've been probably very patient already, but this looks like um, perhaps you need to wait a little bit longer. This will have a conclusion. This will have a successful outcome. There is a key to all this. That key may be like a really illuminating conversation that you have between you both. This key might be you coming towards them with your energy, with warmth, so that they can feel a little bit safer with you. Um, maybe talking things through. But soon you will get this conclusion you will get what i'm hearing is that you'll get the answers that you need and that's the key and then we have this emergence and this is very it's just so it's like a beautiful chrysalis into that transformation into a butterfly and look she's got these gorgeous wings she is flying so this is a card of success this is a card of coming out of this time of stagnation coming out of these difficulties and emerging into the light into something which is illuminating into something which gives you clarity into something which gives you these solutions so i see your your person really working through these issues that they have they've got a little bit of stagnation in them Fear is holding them back a little bit. You may need to be patient with them, um, but ultimately they're gonna be able to process these. So Spirit is really saying, be warm towards them, give them the space that they need, focus on your own life while, you, while they do that, and let it all unfold. If you stay in that beautiful positive energy that I know that you have, then this will resolve itself. You can go into that positive energy space between you both so that you can be united. So, but I see this as such expansive energy with this emergence, expanding into positivity and into um, connection, but you will get the answers that you need here. All right, that's everything that I have for you in this reading. It's been my honor to read your cards as always. I hope this has been beneficial for you. Do connect with me in the comments. You know, I love to hear what is going on with you in your lives. And if you feel called to, please check out my beautiful book, Attract Soulmate Love. It's all for coming into right alignment with that special someone, whether or not you want to call them into your life or if you have already met them and you want to get into right, find out ways of getting into right alignment with them so you are, um, 
are kind of at the same frequency as them so that things can be healthy and work smoothly. Um, people have been saying that they've been getting amazing results uh, with that. So yeah, check that out if it resonates with you. But you are always in my thoughts. I'm sending you all a big hug and I hope to see you again soon here on Lumiere. Take care now. Bye-bye. Hey everybody, welcome to your reading if you pick group number two. Just very quickly, thank you to all my Lumis, my subscribers, thank you for being part of this community and also thank you to everyone who has donated through the Energetic Exchange. I am sending you all a big hug. All right, let's take a look at the energies in these cards today and see why your person is behaving strangely, why they're acting weird, what's going on with them, see what messages we get from Spirit regarding your situation right now. So I'm going to move this down so you can see what I can see and I will unpack these cards for you so we have the six of wands we have the seven of cups temperance in the reverse the Emperor in reverse Queen of Wands in reverse the chariot ten of Pentacles in reverse the moon Queen of Pentacles. We have the card Observer and the card Retreat from the Universal Love Oracle deck. All my decks are linked in the description box if you are ever interested in them. So this is really interesting. I'm seeing Cancer's energy represented here along with Aries, Pisces and Sagittarian energy as well. Sun, Moon or Rising. So that may be significant to you but don't worry too much if it isn't. Um, there's a lot of powerful energies here with all these major arcana cards as well. So I see this is quite a weighty situation. Right, let's move you back up so I can see you. So with this six of wands to the seven of cups, I feel like your person thinks that you have a lot of options. So it may be that they feel like you um, could have anybody or that you've got other people around you who are taking an interest in you and they feel like they have to compete with something else in your life. So this may be other people who are interested in you, who want to have a piece of you, who want to flirt with you, who give you attention. Or it may be that you've just got a lot going on in your life. You, you know, you're working to your goals and dreams uh, you've got stuff going on you're working towards your career you're working towards uh, achieving your dreams or traveling or you know creating opportunities you've got stuff going on and they feel like they've got to compete with that a little bit and um, it's making them feel like like you've got options like you've got more going on for you they're frightened that they're gonna lose you or that they're gonna lose out to something else that's going on in your life or to somebody else like there's a slightly competitive edge here when I see the six of wands to the seven of cups. This is how I see it. It's like slightly competitive, like they're trying to compete for your attention or they don't want to have to compete for your attention. So also I just with these together, I see jealousy here as well they're jealous of the attention that you they get that you get from other people maybe that they see other people wanting to be your friends or other people who are interested in what it is that you've got going on in your life maybe you've got a lot going on on social media and you're getting a lot of attention there or maybe you've just got to get a lot of attention when you go out people checking you out um or uh you know looking looking your way and it's making them feel a little bit jealous of what's going on of the attention that you're getting and how other people are responding to you. I mean, you've got stuff going on, you're confident, you're confident in yourself, you're grounded and centered in yourself, so why shouldn't you have stuff going on in your life? But it's making them think, oh, well, maybe I'm not as good as that, maybe I don't have as much going on in my life as they do, or my life isn't as successful as theirs is. It's making them feel unsettled, because we've got this temperance in the reverse. This is all about the ego. This is coming from the ego place because the temperance in the upright is all about the higher self. It's all about connecting to that higher self and that higher wisdom, but temperance in the reverse. It's all about the ego and the ego is always afraid and in fear. So it's just, they've just, what I'm hearing and seeing from these cards that they've been triggered a little bit. And this is maybe why well, they're behaving a little bit strangely, they're behaving out of character, they've not been behaving uh, you know, how they used to towards you. They've been a little bit triggered and they're acting out of ego. The ego fears. It's like their guard, they put a little guard up. So if you're feeling like there's a distance between you both, which wasn't there before, this is why a little guard has gone up. 
in between you and them because they're trying to protect themselves from potential hurt, which I think is quite interesting. There's a lot here about tension as well, because this is all about relaxing into the flow of life when it's in the upright. So I just feel like they, they feel quite tense. Um, they're not relaxed. They feel a little bit stressed about the situation. They may be hiding this from you, but they feel a little bit stressed about the situation. It's creating, emotionally, they feel a little bit unbalanced. Like they're challenged or they're finding it challenging, but it's making them feel unsettled, definitely, when I see that. They may be drinking a little bit too much or going out, you may see them going out partying with their friends or something like this, going a bit crazy. Temperance in the reverse definitely indicates this as well. So... And then we've got the Emperor in the reverse and the Queen of Wands in the reverse. This is somebody who's very much out of their power. Okay, they've stepped out of their power where they feel good and where they're connected to um, their own confidence and they've stepped out of their power. And what I'm seeing here is somebody who is feeling insecure. Yeah, somebody who's feeling insecure about themselves when I see this emperor in the reverse next to the queen of wands in reverse. This is someone who isn't sure of themselves. There's someone who thinks that maybe they don't have what it takes to win you over or to make you happy or to give you what you need. It's someone who feels insecure. They're doubting themselves. That's what I'm hearing this really clearly from spirit. They're doubting themselves. They're doubting their ability to make you happy. I can feel it. It's like this jittery energy. They're doubting that they can uh, keep you interested in them. They've got this fear that somebody else is coming to come along and sweep you off your feet, take you away from them. So maybe there's a little bit of that energy of just like, oh, well, you know, I can't win here. I don't know what to do um, to make them happy. I feel insecure. I'm just going to pretend this doesn't exist or I'm going to pretend I'm interested in somebody else or... Um, I'm just going to ignore you or I'm going to ignore this whole thing and they're just going to shut down over it. So if they've been behaving weird, if they're acting like out of character, this is why. Because they've been triggered into this energy of insecurity and they're not taking any action. So there may be a little bit of stagnation here with this Queen of Wands in the reverse. There may be a little bit of stagnation. Um... It's like, if they're not acting logically, this is why. So maybe some of their behavior has just been really logical. Maybe you're just like they're doing one thing and saying something else and they're contradicting. Those things are contradictory. Or um, they're being a bit hot and cold or they just don't make any sense. You're just like, this, this is completely illogical. It doesn't make any sense what you're doing or how you're behaving isn't making any sense to me and you're going around around your head thinking well what's going on with this what is going on with them okay it's because they're not being rational right they're just not being rational so don't don't waste your time trying to make sense of this because they don't even flip and know they can't even work out what is happening for them so that is why they're behaving in this way which is pretty irrational i would say so but it's all out of insecurity and it's like this fear actually there's this fear of being exposed and fear of rejection i'm seeing as well when i see the emperor in the reverse next to the queen of wands in the reverse definitely a fear of rejection um you know fear of abandonment is represented here so they've got these fears so the behavior is as a result of these fears that have been triggered within them. So I feel like this is causing them to be stagnant. It's causing them to not take action towards you. I feel like this is very frustrating for you, but there's this tug of war going on within them between their head and their heart. Because in their heart, they have these beautiful feelings for you. They care about you. They love you. But their head is just full of worries, full of anxiety, full of these triggers, which are coming from this ego fear-based place, whereby they're like, it's like I'm hearing a little bit of self-sabotage here as well. Maybe a little bit of self-sabotage. 
with this. This is too good to be true. They've got loads of stuff going on in their life or they could have anybody or all of this thing. So they're just like, they're caught between their genuine real feelings for you and their fears. So there's this push-pull dynamic here within themselves, within their own heart space, which may be reflected in a push-pull dynamic in your relationship. This is maybe how it's manifesting and why they're behaving this way. So we have this Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. They feel unsupported. I think that what would help them is to talk about how they're feeling, maybe to you or maybe to somebody else, to talk this through, to be able to get clarity, but they don't feel supported to do that, or they don't feel safe to be able to do that, to be able to talk things through with you. They feel like maybe it isn't welcome or they wouldn't get a very good response or they just makes them feel too vulnerable. I feel maybe the people in their lives aren't, maybe they don't talk to them in this way, they wouldn't be able to articulate it, what they're feeling. But there's this 10 pentacles in the reverse, it's like a lack of support, lack of people around them that they can really talk to about how they're feeling or what they're thinking. So maybe they're just on the surface of things and not going deeply to sort of recognize what's going on because that would really help to clear things up, I feel. Because they're, they're keeping it all within with this moon card. If they've been acting a bit weird, it's because they're holding so much within. This is a card of insecurity and fears as well. All throughout, it's like running, it's like a thread that is running throughout this whole reading. So they need more support to be able to share these fears, but they are keeping all this under wraps, under the surface. This is a subconscious as well, so it may not even be that they could articulate it or that they could really, uh, that they really understand themselves. What I'm seeing here is someone who doesn't even understand themselves. You know, who can't be honest with themselves and say, yeah, I am feeling a bit triggered or I am frightened that they would leave me or I am frightened that if I come towards them, I'll get rejected. So it's all in the subconscious. And this is why maybe what they're saying and their actions don't act, um, add up or maybe um, that they've just been acting out of character or a little bit strangely, you don't know what's going on but they're keeping it all to themselves, they're keeping it under wraps. I don't think they're gonna open up to you about it for fear of being too vulnerable or of not being accepted for this. They're keeping it under wraps. So, but we have this beautiful grounded energy with the Queen of Pentacles. This is lovely energy here. So I feel like they're gonna work through this stuff. You know, this is the outcome to your reading. This is lovely grounded energy. Whereas some of this other energy that we've been looking at has been a little bit more all over the place. I feel like they're gonna be able to work through this and get grounded, feel a little bit more centered, feel a bit more sure of themselves in order to move forward. So there is that potential there. I feel also that there is, they need to feel safe. To be able to connect with you. So I think maybe if you don't feel safe because you're feeling triggered because that it's like this vicious circle is what I'm seeing. They're acting weird, you get triggered, you're like oh my gosh what's happening, I don't understand what's happening and then you back off a little bit and then there's more distance between you and then they don't feel safe to come towards you. I'm seeing this whole big thing, this whole cycle. So I think the trick is to be open, warm and responsive to whatever it is that they want to share and this is the best way of them feeling safe with you. This is what they need to be able to feel better is that they need to feel safe to come towards you, to be close to you, okay? Um, they definitely see your value but I think this is why they've been so triggered as well. They see your value, they see that you've got stuff going on in your life, they see that maybe you're popular, um, or you've got stuff going on on social media, or that people wanna know you, or they wanna work with you, or they wanna uh, get your attention in some way, but they see your value. They wouldn't be behaving like this if they didn't see you as the real deal, is what I'm hearing, and they didn't see you 
as somebody who is different from all the rest. You stand, what I'm hearing is you stand out from the crowd. Six, six of Wands, you stand out from the crowd for them. So they do have you up on this pedestal. They do see you as this amazing person. But maybe they've realized that they need to level up and go through this process in order to make that happen. They've, you've given them these realizations like, oh, I can't just drift along in life. I need to decide what I'm doing. Or if I have this real relationship, I'm gonna have to consider somebody else. So they're having all these realizations about what it's gonna to take to be with you. But this is really a card of the long term as well, building a future. And this is also a card of transformation. I think this is such positive, beautiful energy here right now. This is a card of transformation. So these fears, these fears that they've had, these feelings of feeling unsupported or feeling a little bit isolated or lonely in what it is that they're experiencing, what it is that they're going through, what it is that they're not sharing with you. Oh, this is what I'm seeing. They're not sharing it with you. What they're thinking and feeling, you know, maybe they don't need to talk about it with somebody else. Maybe they need to share it with you, but they're not, they're holding back. But there is this beautiful power of transformation here for you in the outcome of your reading. So this will transform. They will work through this stuff. This is just a phase is what I'm hearing. This, the way that they're behaving, if they're being a bit um, strange, if everything feels a little bit difficult and out of alignment, this is just a phase and this is the real card of transformation. But they want to feel your warmth. They want to be in your energy. They do think you're amazing. And they do have love here for you. So it's interesting because we have this card observer. And we have the beautiful card retreat as well. Such a beautiful angel for you. So this observer just indicates to me that they are observing you. Maybe they're looking at you on social media. Maybe they're watching sort of, you know, what it, how your life is unfolding. What it is that you're up to. What it is that you're doing. And they're coming to their own conclusions about who you are, where your life is going, what sort of person you are, but they're keeping it to themselves. So, you know, maybe they're observing you from afar via social media. Maybe they're observing you when they're with you or when they're around you. But they're doing that and they're processing stuff in their mind all the time, they're processing stuff, they're trying to work, work it all out, work out what makes, feel, what makes them feel safe. Work out what's happening. And then we have the card retreat. So again, the reason that they're behaving this way is because they've just taken that little step back like we were talking about, not taking any action. Um, they've retreated into themselves. It's like they've just gone into their little shell. That's what I'm seeing. They've just gone into their shell a little bit because of these fears and it's just caused them to retreat, to pull, retract their energy away from you. But this, as you can see, this is such beautiful imagery with this angel. This is healing time for them. So maybe they just need a little bit of time to work through, to process, to understand themselves better. But I see them going through this process of understanding, greater understanding, of feeling a bit more grounded, a bit more empowered in themselves, gaining a little bit more confidence because they do see you for the long term. They do see the potential. They do see this as like a, a meaningful relationship, a meaningful connection, something beautiful. This is really a card of beauty as well. They see you as attractive and they see the beauty in this connection. That's everything that I have for you in this reading today. I hope you found it beneficial and that it has helped you in some respect um, with what your person is going through, what they're thinking and feeling. Um, do connect with me in the comments. Let me know what's going on with you in your lives. And if you feel called to, please check out my beautiful collection of guided meditations and affirmations to help you come into right alignment and dissolve any blocks that you may have towards love and prosperity. People have been writing to me every day with their amazing stories of transformation, how they've been able to get through blocks that they've had for years and years. So if that resonates with you, it's all linked in the description box. But um, you're always in my thoughts. Have an amazing week. And I hope to see you again soon here on Lumiere. Take care now. Bye-bye.
Hey everybody, welcome to everyone who picked group number three. I'm going to take a look at the energies in these cards and see why your person is acting this way, why they are behaving in this particular way right now. Just remember this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest today, okay? Um, also, thank you to my amazing Lumis, my subscribers. Thank you for being part of this family here on YouTube. And also, thank you to everyone who has donated to me through the Energetic Exchange. It's very sweet of you. I'm really touched, so thank you so much. All right, I'm gonna move you down so you can see what I can see, and then, I'll take a look at these cards for you and see what's going on. Four of Pentacles here. The beautiful lovers. Two of Wands. Two of Swords. Three of Pentacles. Page of Wands. Empress. King of Pentacles. Five of Cups. And then we also have this beautiful uh, card Union, the Oracle card Union, and then the beautiful card Forgiveness from the Universal Love Oracle deck. All my decks are linked in the description box below this video if you are interested in any of those. So I see Gemini's energy represented here as well as Libra's energy as well, Sun, Moon or Rising. So. Let's take a look and see what it all means. Now, I've got to say, this is quite a specific message that's coming through right now. Um, I'm getting a, it's a very interesting reading. I'm getting very particular energy from this. So, obviously, this person is really uh, shut down, really closed off. They've closed off their heart space. They're holding on really tightly. So, the flow isn't going. So, that flow that maybe you felt before with them in the relationship or in the friendship, you're just not getting it right now which is why um, you felt that difference. It's why you feel that they are acting out of character or acting strangely. It's because they're in this shutdown energy and they're closing themselves off to this beautiful connection that you both have because this is lovely, beautiful, loving energy. So they do love you. And this is a soulmate connection. Maybe you uh, resonate with it as a twin flame, something like this, but very, very deep connection and definitely a soul connection. One of those connections where you are destined to meet in this lifetime, to have experiences together, to teach each other about life and about love. But So your person is really shutting themselves off to this connection which is available to them, which you are offering them, which is available from you. And they have, they're closing up, they've shut down to what's being offered to them, to this powerful union, this powerful connection. So, a decision needs to be made, because we've got two cards here. Two of Wands followed by Two of Swords. This is really interesting. So, Two of Wands, what I'm getting is really the action is needed. So if things feel stagnant, if things feel like they are um, have slowed right down or that they're not really coming towards you or you don't really know what's happening. They need, action needs to be taken, but they need to make a decision. So the reason why they're acting strangely or acting out of character is because they are mulling things over in their mind. See this guy, he's looking at the lovers. He's looking at this relationship. He's looking at this connection and thinking, is this what I want? Is this what I want for the long term? Is this what I want to experience? Do I want to continue with this? Do I want to take this to the next level? So he is thinking, he's looking at this. This is what's on his mind. This is what's up for debate at this time. So it may be that your person has shut down a little bit to preserve their own energies, to sort of take back their sovereignty into themselves so that they can decide for themselves what it is that they want for the future. And that may be what it is that you're feeling. Um, in this situation right now so it's a powerful connection definitely so a decision needs to be made they're trying to make a decision about this relationship and this is my, maybe why they're behaving a little bit strangely you know however it is that this is manifesting maybe they're on again off again maybe they're being hot and cold um maybe their words and their actions aren't matching up but whatever it is that's resonating with you it's because they're trying to make they're looking at this connection they're trying to make this decision about what it is that they want for them now remember however this plays out is for the highest good of everyone concerned 
it is causing them a lot of anxiety with this two of swords energy again this speaks of choice this speaks of a decision which needs to be made but it's causing them a lot of anxiety they haven't got a lot of mental clarity about this at the moment they don't really know what it is that they want they can't weigh things up everything feels a bit muddled it's feeling very heavy for them definitely um but they, again they just need to make a decision about things i'm wondering if the decision because we have this is really telling i think you have the three of pentacles right at the center of your reading this is at the center of your whole reading and this does indicate to me a third party situation now do not panic if this is the case then this is something that you already know so if this is resonating with you it's something you already know i'm not telling you something that you don't already know they're trying to make a decision about the relationship the connection with you i'm wondering if there's some sort of energy from outside the relationship which is interfering which is making them feel confused so it could be an old love that's got back in touch with them it could have been somebody else that they were also dating that they had a little bit of a connection with who they're also having a little bit of communication with and it's making them feel a little bit confused one of these things maybe they've got a connection in their life which is making them feel a little bit confused about the future about settling down about committing to one thing about what it is that they want i'm not getting the sense that it makes them a bad person i think it makes them human um maybe they just there's somebody that gives them attention and they just like getting attention and that's causing like an energy leak in your connection between you both i'm also sensing very strongly that for some of you this may resonate that this outside influence situation that we've been talking about is maybe just to do with uh the lifestyle or stuff that's going on you know maybe they're thinking of going abroad traveling or moving to a different city for work and they need to do this but there, there's it's like there's something that's coming between you which is making it very difficult for make for them to make a decision maybe you're feeling like well it shouldn't be difficult for you to make this decision i should come first but they're still weighing these things up this is what is happening for them so this outside influence as i was saying could be something to do with a job could be something to do with their work situation and wanting to travel or moving cities or just um the pressure of responsibilities coming in or like i said for some of you it may resonate that there's just some third party situation or just even a third party energy so it could be that maybe you met them and they're still getting over their ex or they're still in touch with their ex and there's still some sort of little bit of residual energy there and they're trying to decide what it is that they want maybe they've never worked through those feelings properly at the time one of their old relationships and now that they're with you it's brought up some of those feelings again okay but it's interesting because what i'm seeing here so here's your page of wands and he is turning his back on this so there's like some visual imagery here. He is turning his back on whatever it is that has been causing the confusion, which has been causing him to feel muddled, or I say he, I'm just talking about the little man in the card. Um, could be a he, could be a she, whatever. So they are turning, your person is going through this process. They're feeling very muddled, a little bit low vibrational, very confused it is causing them anxiety this is why they're behaving in this way um, towards you because they've got this anxiety this decision is weighing heavily on them which means that it's important if it's weighing heavily on them it is important to them um, but they're turning their back on this whatever this is which is the issue the energy that is coming between you however that is res resonating for you however that manifests for you in your situation they are turning their back on this and this is a card of taking action i see this as like a little mini fool energy so he's just like yes i am getting involved in this i've made my decision this is a card of making a decision so you don't need to worry. They're just going through a process and maybe that means they've pulled away a little bit or maybe they're acting a little bit strangely. Maybe they're a little bit distant. Just let them have their time. Spirit is really saying, give them their space to come home to themselves, themselves so that they can process and then we'll come to this decision. And their decision is that they want to turn their back on this and they want to go towards this, the Empress. So this is what he's facing towards. 
He's facing towards something that is really good feeling. He's facing towards love. The Empress is true love. This is a powerful love reading that we're looking at now because we've got the lovers and we've got the Empress. Cards of love. So he's facing away from these problems and challenges of the past and going towards love. So I see your person making that important decision about what it is that they want and committing to a healthy relationship, committing to those deeper feelings, committing to that connection and exploring those feelings of love with you. This really indicates a healthy relationship. It indicates them taking action as well. So they've made that decision and they, I see them taking action towards you and towards this connection, which I think is really good. This is also actually... Um, a card of cutting ties from the past, like we were talking about that full energy of just said. I'm done with that, I'm making a fresh start. This is a card, very similar energy of cutting those ties from the past and just saying, I am ready to make a fresh start. I am ready to move forward and I'm moving forward towards this. So this is the process that they're going through, what they're working towards. So I think that's really lovely. It's also, um, the Empress is really about growth and expansion. So it's expanding into those greater feelings. It's growing that connection between you both, um, growing that relationship, learning about each other in this loving, safe framework because they want a loving, stable relationship. This really speaks to me of the long term when I see the King of Pentacles here, long term um, connection long-term love, wanting to create something stable and being committed to that. And the thing that's going to um, change them is that they're frightened of losing you. Look at this Five of Cups. This is a very clear story here. This is a very clear message that Spirit has for you as to why your person is behaving this way. So something is going to trigger them to make this change where they were sort of lost in the mire of their emotions and their thoughts about what it is that they wanted and that thing is going to be the realization that they could lose you if they carry on like this if they carry on messing you around or if they carry on not investing in this that you are going to be doing you you have got your own goals and dreams you have got your own life to live um you are investing in yourself and they can see that and something is going to make them realize that if they don't level up, they will lose you because the King of Pentacles is really a card of leveling up. They wanna level up so they can have this love with you and so that they don't lose you. And this will be the thing that turns it around, that this fear of losing you, that, or just this realization, they're just gonna have like an epiphany because these are powerful cards. This is someone who's stepping back into their power out of all this confusing, I don't know what I want. I can't pick them all up, I've got too many cards now. Confusing, I don't know what I want. Fear-based energies around this beautiful union, this beautiful connection is someone who's leveling up. Yes. Someone who's stepping into their power. Someone who's offering you something real. The Empress is very real. It's the real deal. So I think this is really lovely. It's definitely, when I see these two together, it indicates a healthy connection as well. Something really healthy, something really wholesome, something that feels really good, where there's a really um, powerful, balanced exchange between you both. So I don't think that you need to worry unnecessarily. Spirit is really saying, don't give in to your fears right now. I know you feel a little bit shut out. You feel a little bit um, oh, you're pushed away, but I see a good outcome for this, really. I call this with the King of Pentacles as well. I try not to swear, but sometimes it happens. I call this the shit just got real card. So this is about leveling up. It's about getting real with things because if they don't, if they continue to mess you around, you'll be gone. And they are going to realize this. And you know this. You know this. You're not going to wait around for them forever. You're not going to be messed around by somebody because you have your boundaries. But they are going to realize this. You're not going to have to do anything. You're not going to have to be fierce. You're not going to have to lay down the law. It's all just going to be in your energy. And your energy is all like, okay, well, you do you. And I'm going to go and live my life. And you come back to me when you've worked it all out for yourself. So, but these two, look at all this beautiful sunshine here as well. This is empowered energy in these cards, all this yellow. Um, which I love, solar plexus excuse me, solar plexus chakra. Um, 
So that's like stepping into confidence, feeling confident in that connection, confident about what it is that they want. There's no sort of wishy-washy energies here, which I think is really nice. So um, this is energy of the future, of the long term. It's about having a vision. Um, and that vision is for you, is for that healthy connection, it is for love. So we have this beautiful card union. Again, this indicates very strongly about them coming around coming into connection and recognizing and deciding on this connection, this beautiful connection here, and you coming into union. But the reason that they've been behaving the way they have, the way they've, the way they've been acting the way they have, is because they're on the cusp of making this decision about what it is that they want for their life, what it is that they want for the future, and maybe that's causing a little bit of tension is what I'm hearing, tension between you both, tension within themselves in the form of this anxiety. But ultimately, union is indicated here very strongly. It's interesting because we have this card of forgiveness as well, this beautiful card with this lovely imagery on it with these beautiful stars. So what is it that you need to forgive in this situation? Maybe you need to forgive them for some of their past behavior. Maybe you need to forgive them for messing you around. I think really what I'm hearing from Spirit is really just showing them a little bit of compassion. I don't think they're a bad person. I feel like um, they're just human and they're having a human moment trying to work through uh, what it is that they want, feeling a little bit uncertain. So maybe you can extend compassion to them and extend compassion to yourself or whatever emotions you are feeling as well. Um, but if there is anything in this connection where you can offer them forgiveness um, or where there needs to be forgiveness if you're holding on to any sort of resentment towards them or vice versa, then Spirit is really saying, you know, extend that energy of forgiveness to them, maybe you can do a love and kindness meditation um, to help to dissolve some of those more lower vibrational, um, denser, tense energies that you are experiencing around this situation right now. But I do see a lot of positivity here in the future for you. That's everything that I have for you in this reading today. I hope it has been beneficial for you. Let me know how it resonates down in the comments. I love to connect with you there and here all your stories all from all over the world um but yes um if you feel called to please check out my beautiful collection of guided meditations and affirmations to help you dissolve any blocks that you have towards love and prosperity and keep you in a high vibration because people have been writing to me every single day letting me know of the um incredible changes that have taken place as a result of them committing to this practice of reprogramming their subconscious mind it really helps them to get ahead and to make changes in their life which ultimately make them feel better. So if that calls to you, if that resonates with you, check that out. But have an amazing week. You are always in my thoughts and I am sending you lots of love in your situation and I hope to see you again soon here on Lumiere. Take care now, bye bye.